Crucifixion is a method of capital punishment where the victim is placed on a cross or beam where they were left to hang for days until they passed away. The people who experience this terrible punishment usually fall victim to exhaustion and suffocation before anything else. Crucifixion was mainly used throughout earlier history to discourage any witnesses from committing the same crime as the accused. It was used as crucifixion was a slow, painful and humiliating death that was a warning to all those who saw that no crime should be committed or this horrific sight would be experienced for themselves. But now we will look at some of the most horrifying and famous cases of human crucifixion. Number 5. Saint Peter Saint Peter was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ and is thought to be the first leader of the early church. He is also known as Peter the Apostle, Simon Peter or simply Simon. He was thought to have been born around 1 CE and he was a fisherman and a clergyman. According to tradition, Saint Peter was crucified after being captured by Emperor Nero. It is thought that after being put into prison by Emperor Nero, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, who was with him, created an underground spring inside the prison so they could baptize fellow prisoners and their prison guards. After being discovered, Saint Peter was then crucified for this crime. However, before his crucifixion, he asked to be crucified upside down as he didn't feel worthy to die the exact same way as his Lord, Jesus Christ. So in around 64 CE, Saint Peter was crucified and it is believed that this happened at Rome where he was later buried underneath the current site of the Belicia of Saint Peter. Number 4. Mani Mani was a prophet and founder of Mani Chisum, who was born in modern day Iraq. There he grew Mani Chisum, a religion based on the belief that there was always a balance between good and evil, light and dark, a duality to life and the universe. At its height, Mani Chisum was a religion that thrived for centuries and was classed as one of the most widespread religion in its time. Mani started to preach this new gospel at the age of 24, after many years of visions and experiences with his so-called heavenly twin. He was reportedly banished from his home and instead travelled to India where he studied Hinduism. He then returned home after many years when he then tried to convert a local emperor to his new religion. The emperor did not convert, but the emperor's successor decided to persecute the Manchisiums for their beliefs. The new emperor captured Mani and placed him in a prison where he died a month later in the year 274 CE. Mani's followers depicted Mani's death in a way to reflect that of Jesus. Mani was reportedly nailed to a cross and suspended over the main gate to the local city. His head was then removed from his body before being placed on a spike for all to see. This crucifixion was a message to others who wanted to follow the beliefs of Mani and the consequences that would follow. Number 3. The 26 Martyrs of Japan The 26 Martyrs of Japan were a group of Catholics who were executed by crucifixion on the 5th of February 1597 in Nagasaki, Japan. Catholicism had a promising beginning in Japan as near the end of the 16th century there were around 300,000 Catholics dotted around the country. However, at the end of the 16th century, due to external circumstances, 
the persecution of Catholics began. Causes for this persecution included political difficulty between Spain and Portugal, factions within the Japanese government, and the competition between different missionary groups. By 1630, Catholicism had been driven underground and banned, with those who refused to change their religion being executed. The 26 martyrs of Japan who were executed were not all Japanese. Within the 26, there are four Spaniards, one Mexican, one Portuguese and 20 Japanese Catholics. They were all crucified for their religion in Nagasaki on the orders of a Japanese ruler. Three of them were even pierced with spears. However, these 26 martyrs were not to be the last to be made martyrs. They were just the beginning of a 17 year period until 1614, where it is estimated that 70 Catholics were killed. And during this time, Catholicism was outlawed until the 19th century where new missionaries were allowed to enter Japan. Have you heard of the 26 martyrs of Japan before? Number 2. Jesus Jesus, or Jesus Christ, was a first century Jewish preacher and religious leader. He is one of the central figures of Christianity, and most Christians believe that he was the Son of God, a Messiah, as prophesied in the Old Testament. Jesus began his own ministry, preached orally, and engaged in healing. He also gathered great numbers of followers and taught new beliefs. He was later arrested for blasphemy and breaking laws by Roman soldiers after being betrayed by one of his disciples, Judas. After being arrested, Jesus was found not guilty in a trial, but was condemned by the crowd after they were given the choice to release Jesus or a murderer. The murderer is released and Jesus is sent for execution by crucifixion. He is made to warn a crown of thorns in mockery of his unofficial title of King of the Jews and claiming to be the Son of God. He carried his own cross to his execution site along with two convicted thieves. There he is crucified and there he dies with the plaque above his head proclaiming him to be the King of the Jews and the Son of God. Number 1. The Rebel Slaves of the Third Servile War The Rebel Slaves of the Third Servile War were all slaves that had revolted against the Roman Republic. The war was the last in Italy of violent slave rebellions. The Third Servile War was led by the gladiator Spartacus and was the only war of the three to prove any real threat to the Roman heartland. It seemed to the Roman Republic that the army of Spartacus was unbeatable and unstoppable. The revolt began in the year 73 BCE with the escape of 70 gladiator slaves. In two years, another 120,000 men, women and children had joined them and a large number were well armed. They withstood attacks from Roman patrols, Roman military and well-trained Roman legions. They raided estates and towns throughout modern day Italy wandering around the country gaining people and supplies. Eventually, the war came to an end in 71 BCE with an army of eight Roman legions that defeated the army of the rebel slaves. A large portion of the rebels were killed on the battlefield. It is also believed that Spartacus was killed in the war. However, 6,000 of the ex-slaves were captured by the forces of one part of the Roman army and all 6,000 were crucified on the 200 km Appian Way between Capua and Rome to be a warning to all would-be rebels. Therefore, the rebel slaves of the Third Servile War has made it onto this list due to the number 
of those crucified. Now that you have heard about some of the most horrific and terrible crucifixions in human history, which one was the worst? Which one was the most famous? Have you heard of any before? Please discuss in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the History Scholar to always be up to date with the latest about the past.